Hey, Dizzlers, what's up? It's right here. Well, I'm trying to figure out a good name to call you guys. Right now, we're deciding on Dizzlers and join the revolution. So down below, vote. Tell me what you guys would like to be called, and maybe we'll figure it out. I don't know. I'm trying to be a good YouTuber. <laughs> Now, about a month ago, a video went viral from the average artist here on YouTube. She tried out these jelly cup gouache paint things. It's like little boxes of jelly gouache. And I was like, hang on a second, this looks awesome. In all my years of life, I have never seen this kind of paint before. So literally within 30 seconds of watching that video, I stopped it and I bought it because I want to try them out. And y'all know I don't like long intros, so before we jump into it, if you would like to join the revolution, become a Dizzler, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, let's go ahead and just tear into this paint. Oof, I cannot wait. So this is the exact one that she had. This is the Hemi gouache paint set. <gasps> it's beautiful. This is actually really, really heavy. It kind of reminds me of something that you would have in your kitchen, honestly. Like, can you see how thick that plastic is? And if you're not a fan of pink, it also comes in this really cool mint green color down below, which I will link it. My first impression right off the bat with the packaging, it, it's minimalistic, it's clean, it's heavy duty. I love it. Now this retails for $18. It comes with 18 colors, so about a dollar a piece. So let's open it and see what's inside. Uh, it comes with a paint palette, so you can like mix all the colors whenever you need, add some water here and there. That way you don't have to dip into these directly. And here's the jelly paint. Wow. This is so weird. It looks just like food or something. So here's what the little cups look like. They come with little divots like this so they don't like slide around. They lock into place. We got some leakage. The red kind of leaked a little bit. That's not good. That is not good. Now here's what all the colors look like in full. I think we got a really good range of colors. And plus they're so darn cute. Look at that. So cute. Let's open one of these and see what the paint looks like. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> it just got all over me. Wow, this looks just like acrylic paint. Whoa. Wow, this texture is absolutely beautiful in the paint. It's kind of like a like an airy kind of look to it. It's really cool. I'm trying to save on towels by switching to cotton, you know, save the environment. And uh, yeah, just opening it, I made a mess. That could just be me though, because you know me, I just make messes. So like I said earlier in the video, gouache is like a perfect mix between acrylic paint and watercolor. First we'll test out acrylic. We'll see how it blends. I personally have never used gouache before, so I don't know if I'm supposed to use the watercolor brush or the acrylic brush. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she thick. Oh, she thick, thick. Ooh, okay, so right off the bat, this reminds me of acrylic paint. Like, almost exactly. <laughs> if I was to describe this, it's kind of like the most intense watercolor I've ever used in my life. Uh, right off the bat, it's a lot easier to blend than acrylic, which is good because y'all saw my last TikTok video. I kind of got something going on. Now I showed you guys earlier what they look like in the cups. 
but to see these colors up close and in person is absolutely incredible. And not to mention, these are very, very pigmented. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Now you're probably wondering what these three colors were that I didn't swatch. Uh, one's the black, one is a blue-green, and then lastly is white, which, I mean, what's the point of swatching on white paper, you know? Oh, I just thought of a good idea. You know how you can like layer really well with acrylic? I wonder if you can do that with gouache. Ooh, oh. Now it's a little bit transparent, you know, but it, yeah, yeah, you can. Let's try this blue. This concept is blowing my mind. This is literally the hybrid of the two. I can't believe this is layering so well. That, so weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and start our drawing, which I'm gonna do tomorrow because it's late and I'm tired. Now for the drawing section, I think I found literally the coolest image on Pinterest. It's this one right here. And this one's from an old movie called, uh, Zeigfeld Girl? <laughs> Zeigfeld? I don't know, I literally have no idea. <laughs> Really? Now gouache isn't the only thing that I'm trying out. I'm also gonna add in this mica pigment, which is so pretty. Even though it came broken. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -da -ba 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 now here's the final drawing. And check this out, check this out. Boom. The mica pigment illuminates and it's so gorgeous. I can't even. Okay, I'm just gonna say this one time and one time only. I, Super Ray Dizzle, love gouache. I love it. This paint is pigmented, it's cheap, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's fun to work with, it layers so well, it's water soluble. Like, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but honestly, this paint is everything that I wish acrylic was. And it's not perfect, you know, I did run into a few issues. For example, it's a little bit hard to blend realistically, as you can see. Especially if you compare it to something like oil, which blends like nobody's business. Once it's dry, it doesn't really handle wet paint very well. So for example, you can see, as you can see, I dripped a thing of water on here and it kind of like messed up that little area. And I tried to conceal it and that didn't really work either. And the last thing that just blew my mind. This is kind of like thin paper, you know, but it held down so perfectly. It wasn't until I added the watercolor mica that I got a bunch of bending. If I had to rate this paint, I would give it a solid B plus. No, no, an A minus. This paint is so awesome. And if you want to try it, I will link it down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. If you would like to join the revolution, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more art videos, hit the, one of these things right here. And with that being said, I love you guys, and I will see you next video. Bye.